to make this place holy, we had to kick out the devil. And we did. <laughs> and this is our, so to say, daily, daily work to fight against the temptations, the world. Remember, up there we have a mother who has received as a mission. And when God gives a mission, he provides the mean to fulfill it. The mission, the first mission of the Blessed Virgin Mary is to smash the head of the devil. When you see, when you see the situation of the world, when you see even the situation of the church today, a nightmare. When you see how much the world has penetrated, infiltrated Holy Mother of the Church. Of course, we seek for protection. More than that, we seek for victory. And where will we find this? In the Immaculate Conception, in the Blessed Virgin Mary and her Son, our Lord. Really beautiful final words, and it really sums yes. up, the, the, you know, no matter where you go to Mass, what traditional Mass you go to, you know, it's we're in terrible times, right? It's true. Pope Francis and Cardinal Roche uh, seem determined to crush the traditional Latin Mass. And so, again, wherever you go to Mass, you should look at this as a great sign of contradiction to that goal. I mean, they have openly said that's their goal to build this $40 million beautiful. I mean, it, it can't uh, watch the whole thing because you can see so much more detail the outside, the inside. Yes. Monument to the traditional Latin Mass, a church built solely for the traditional mass and sacraments will only ever have that uh, from the, the the collected pennies of the faithful all over the world yes. uh, is really a, a response to their attempt to crush the mass uh, to say no at least to build the keep of the fortress in which if it is crushed everywhere else you know here here we will make our our stand it it, it yes. should inspire everyone to realize their mission their goal is doomed uh, it's. Right. The, the the only life in the church. Where have you ever heard of a, a Novus Ordo church building a $40 million beautiful church like this? Right. And uh, I think that's the another excellent point to end on is that, mm -hmm. you know, if any bishops around the world, if they sincerely want their dioceses to thrive, it's very simple what they need to do. They simply need to return to tradition yes. and they can, they can do the same thing, not overnight necessarily, but it will happen. And again, it wasn't. It's not just the building. If you watch the whole thing, the the uh, there are so many priests from all over the world. Uh, right. Father Begner is there. Uh, seminarians from the seminary in Winona. Huge line, an unending line of seminarians. So many, five thousand people. Again, the news media estimated. Right. Uh, it, it it's not just the building. It is the whole right. revival of the church. Right. In all well, as he it. said, it's the the building is such a manifestation of the faith. Yes. That's such a yes. they they need to put that line on their advertising or something. That's a very quotable line. Manifestation they should. of the they faith. Should. 